What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are here at Lake Julian Disc Golf Course. I have three discs that I would actually recommend as, as two starters for a starter set. We have the Spore, obviously. It is, well, you'll see here in a minute. We have the Link in Exosoft, and then we have the Peach. These three discs are disc slots that everybody can use, and these are molds that I would recommend. you don't have to throw it hard for it to kind of just keep staying in the air so you can give it some really nice little soft runs and approach shot the sport can also be a great driving putter because similar to what i just did on the last hole you don't have to throw it hard to make it go straight so short wooded holes tunnel shots just try to hit the gap and let the disc carry. Peach also makes a really good like soft little hyzer flip forehand disc. So especially for beginners and approach shots can be really useful. is a great disc for learning controllability and learning your release angles. I'm not trying to throw it hard on this hole. I'm just trying to hit the gap similar to the last hole. I'm going to throw it a touch harder because it is mid-range, but it's only a four speed with five glide. It's going to get there eventually. Or you hit a tree. Yeah, the spore is not just good at backhand. You can also throw it forehand, whereas a lot of the other one speeds, they're gonna do something unpredictable, whereas this one's gonna be mo a little bit more reliable for you. The flight is good. That release point was terrible. <laughs> now the Peach is a four, five, negative two, one. So if you do throw it on Anheuser, it does tend to hold the Anheuser. So it's got a nice open gap. I can get to the basket from here. Thank goodness those wooded holes are behind us. I know the seven's still a wooded hole, kind of. However, these discs are not just discs that you can only use when you're a beginner. They are usable by every skill level. The Peach, when you're first starting out, is probably going to be a straight, maybe a slightly overstable mid-range. However, once you start to get a little bit more speed, a little bit more snap on your throw, it's going to be dead straight to a little bit understable. What I use this for is my turnover mid-range disc. See that gap because I see that gap. Spore. I love this putter so much. It is so good. <laughs> and then I throw it like that. Good figure. Now the peach on a forehand. It has a really nice little flip up on a, yeah, Peach is a great disc too. And as far as the, uh, as far as the Exosoft Link goes, I, I love the P2 and it still is my go-to throwing putter. I love it for putting. I just, I can't 
something about their Discmania's D-line plastic, I can't stand. It's too dry, not tacky enough, not waxy enough. This XO Soft is nice. Um, it's got a really, really good amount of tack, and it's just waxy enough to give me grip, even if my hands dry out. So, this is my putting putter. This is the one disc that I'm, I will recommend, but not for everybody. Putting putters are completely up to you. You do your putting putter. This is the one I use. These throwing discs, definitely check them out if you have any out. You can also use the peach on forehand as like a forehand turnover disc. I've been using this quite frequently um, during tournament play as the scramble disc. Basically just hook it at the firewall and it's gonna turn and pan and get you where you need to go. So here, hug it through this triangle gap, turn and pan to the left. Or just turn it into a roller. Here, let me show. I was questioning that disc choice and there's a beginner right there. You're like, should I do this? I should have gone with tried and true what I know is gonna work here and just throw a spore into the middle. say because we're beginner set we're gonna play like beginners and just take the second throw off of this tee and we're putting for a three. Oh. As of already because it's like beginners you know uh, one more hole and hopefully we can do something cool. Hole number nine we got a pretty decent amount of tailwind I'm gonna go peach backhand slight hyzer about like 75% I don't want it to turn over or across the road. I just want it to flip up and ride straight. And this grass always eats up your drive. Now where the spore shines is those little soft approaches. When? When is this going to stop? If you had not had a chance to check out Spore yet, definitely go do so. They're amazing. This Neosoft is so gummy, so flexible. It's a great approach disc, great throwing putter, great for catch, and great for just all around having fun on the course. If you're looking for a really good, maybe slightly understable mid-range, check out a peach. In the steady plastic, these things are absolutely money. Not quite as gummy, but still got a good amount of give and some good tackiness. And then XO Soft Link, still working on this one. Trying to learn to love it because I love this plastic. I just wish it came in a P2 mold. If you enjoy content like this, make sure to like the video. If you want to see new content, make sure to comment down below what you want to see next and make sure to subscribe. It helps me out, it helps you out. Until next time, guys, see you out on the course.